Nelly, was that we got to talk a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago before you did Star Party. So it's like you and I are hanging out a lot lately. And, and by the way, you did a great job at Star Party. So uh, that was super cool. Um, Thank you so, so much. Man. I want to ask you about the Olympics because everybody's talking about the Olympics. Are you making plans to watch the Olympics? What events are you into? Because I know you're a big sports guy. Rumor yeah. has it that you could have been on the 1998 Olympic ball, uh, basketball team. That's the rumor. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. But no, are you, are you watching I mean, the Olympics? <laughs> been on it as a ball boy, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, well, you know what? I mean, I, I, I will, I will. I, I didn't know if I had any plans to watch it. Um, only because, only because, I mean, it's, it's coming on probably a replay, probably not live. Yep, cause, not live. I mean, yep. obviously, um, it's coming on in, in Japan. So I think that's like, Jesus Christ, uh, what? 16 five, hours. Six, it's, it's 16 yeah. hours ahead of us over there. Yeah. It's like it's they're like on the other day. side of the freaking world. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So, I mean, I, I probably will. Um, I know we had a couple of um, my guys um, that's from my hometown, guys that I'm familiar with on the basketball team, Jason Tatum. He's from St. Louis. Um, he's playing on the Olympic team. And uh, another buddy of mine, um, Bradley Beal, but he's not playing anymore. I think be, um, I think it's due to COVID. Uh, okay. COVID. So I don't think he's playing, but I love to watch the basketball team. I love track and field. And um, I, I, I would love to see Simone Biles um, um, do her thing. I think she's just like a little superhero. So um, <laughs> um, if I could get a chance, yeah, man. But uh, I think it's going to be tough. Um, I don't think it'll be live, though. I think it'll definitely be a replay. It's a, yeah, they are, uh, they're 16 hours ahead, I think. So it's, it's like the middle of the night over there right now. Something like that's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah, that's crazy. Um, have you, you've been to Japan. You've been all over the world. I mean, I know you've been to Japan. Yeah. And yeah, you but, and I have yeah. something else in common. We, I have also been to Japan. Uh, okay. And, and I will tell you, one of the things that I thought was really weird is so clean. There's no litter. It's like, yeah. it's like <laughs> the cleanest place in the world. They don't litter and they're quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Japan is great, man. Japan, you know what? Any place that loves Nelly is great. I, I'm not gonna lie. So, <laughs> do they? Does like, that's a good question. Saying, does think, Japan love Nelly? Oh man, Japan is Japan is 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 a, is a is a huge market for Nelly as well. Yeah, they've always have been. So, um, yeah, Japan has been great. Been great. Yep. Does it surprise oh. you when you go to, when you go somewhere like Finland? And you like the first time you went to Finland to do a show or some weird place like that. You're like, oh my god, how, they know me in Finland. Yeah, you know, it was it was it was surprising. I think at first, um, when I went anywhere out the country, you know, um, even though I was I was born in Texas, uh, I spent a little time in Spain, but that was only like at one and two years old because my father was in the Air Force, and then I moved back to St. Louis when I was like three. I hadn't really been out the country, um, you know, since. So, yeah. um, and, you know, you being from St. Louis and, you know, growing up in the areas that I grew up in, I hadn't really been anywhere. So by the time I got a chance to get out, I was surprised that they knew me, man, in freaking Oregon. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> like, yeah, right. Like, whoa, here I, I'm in Portland and they know who I am. Yeah, yeah, it well, was now, surprising. Everybody knows you because you know twenty years in, and I'm I'm thinking there's like I was looking at the 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 uh, the anniversary of your Diamond certified album debut album Country Grammar was just like a year so like twenty one years after after Country Grammar and now Nelly's like a household name. Yeah, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. You and know? you're on a beer can. Your name, your face is on a freaking beer and can. What? And that's the most important. And that's the most important thing. I made that beer can. You see what I'm saying? You got to make sure you put that in there. Now, um, well, Anheuser-Busch, um, obviously, as you know, is a St. Louis staple, homegrown as well. And they've been supporting Nelly, man, since, since I can remember. Ever since I came out and I, I started making noise, they supported me. They supported the whole group um, as a whole. And, um, yeah, just to grow up... Um, so to speak, career-wise, in the city with Anheuser-Busch has been phenomenal. They've supported numerous of my charities. We've done 
uh, hundreds of functions together um, and things like that. So, and how's the Bush is like family, man. And um, yeah, every chance we get a chance to work together, I, I, I take it as a blessing, you know? That, that is super cool. And I know you do a lot of like uh, charity work and I think that's great because you know what? Mm -hmm. Um, every, everybody who's made it wants to give back. And I think that's super cool. Um, and I'm looking at some of the things that you, you're you um, helping out when donating to um, uh, the Teen Project Against Human Trafficking, which is yeah. a lot of people don't realize what a big, but a big thing and how prevalent that is, right? Yeah, yeah, you'd be surprised. Just, um, you know, I, I, I didn't understand the magnitude of it um, and how complex it could turn out to be as far as the working parts and, 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 and just how deep it kind of, and how deep it kind of runs. Um, and when you get a chance to, um, you know, hear some of the stories and, and talk to uh, some of the people that have, uh, that have helped save kids and some of the children that have been through certain situations, it's, it's, it's pretty shocking, man. And, and, you know, it kind of tugs at you and you, you, you want to do whatever you can to, to help so to speak and um if i could donate some shoes and help raise money and and things like that when, when i mean by shoes is um the shoes that i wore on um dancing with the stars we yep. will be auction we will be auctioning off um so if any of you guys out there want to <laughs> want to help donate stay tuned to that to, um, to all my social medias to stay to find out exactly when the auction will take place but it definitely be this year and um yeah Hopefully That's we super, can um, change some lives, man. That is super cool. Um, uh, I want to ask you the first time anybody asked you about being on Dancing with the Stars, you're <laughs> number one, number one, you're busy. Yeah. Number two, you're going to be on TV tripping over some professional dancer's feet. Were, <laughs> did, you, did you hesitate at all? Did you say no? Okay. Or how did that all go down? Well, Actually, Dancing with the Stars has been trying to get me to be on there for like, um, I don't know, almost 10 years now. They have been trying to, to, to get me. I mean, they always ask. I, they say that you can't never hurt the ass. I think they probably ask everybody, <laughs> at, least <laughs> at, at least send somewhat of an invitation out. But um, this was one of those years, I, um, actually during COVID, that... Um, I mean, you know, you started to get cabin fever. You didn't watch everything on TV. And it was one of those situations where it came about, it came up on TV and I was running my big mouth saying that I can do whatever. And that doesn't look so hard and, and, and things like that. And trust me, it is super hard. It don't, it don't look that hard. It is extremely hard. Well, I think that's it the thing with anything hard. like that. Is those guys, you know, on Dancing with the yeah. Stars, the pros, they make it look so easy. It's like, oh, yeah, I can go do that. Then you get out yeah, there. Yeah, I, like, I wasn't really worried about the pros. I was, <laughs> I wasn't really worried about the pros. I was, you know what? I, I, I guess what it was, was, um, I guess the, the being vulnerable part. I think that, that, that that's the biggest issue is just because even though I perform, I'm on TV all the time and, I'm on stage all the time. That's not really the big deal. I think it's just about getting out of your comfort zone, yeah. you know, um, and it's a difference between Nelly doing his little usual two-step performing or dancing as opposed to me doing a cha-cha or something that's structured. And yeah, and being and being yelled at by a five foot one professional who's from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. What was your, what was your strong dance? Was it the cha-cha or what was your strong dance? Do you remember? Uh, I don't know. Like what really was my strong dance? I think, it as it, as it, I think as it got, well, that's only because of my fans, man. That's only because people showed up and they voted. And I don't know if that was a, if that was a good gesture or just a practical joke of them just keeping me on there. You know what I'm saying? Like I still haven't found out if the people were being nice or being a little harsh there, but no, no, no. I thank them all the time, man. Um, yeah. I, I had a lot of fun. I wouldn't trade it for the world, man. I, the experience was great. The show, like I said, again, is top notch from top to bottom, all the people involved, from the the execs on down to the showrunners and everybody that helped put that great show together, man, I had extremely fun. So, um, and then the people who won, Caitlin, and um, yeah, you know, she's a great dancer. She's 
stupid, man. Like I enjoy watching her dance every week. It definitely her and her and her and Neve, you know, um, great dancers. So they did their thing. That's so cool. It's so impressive. Um, let's talk about music because we're not going to talk to you without talking about music. Uh, you got your single out now. We're back with Florida Georgia Line. Because last mm-hmm. time we talked to you, I think you might have either been working on it or you had just finished it or something like that. Um, and your single is out. It's uh, I just looked it up. It's uh, currently it's top five on iTunes for like four for four or five weeks. So congrats on that yeah. one. Called a little Thank little you. bit with Florida Georgia Line. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, man. Um, the first single off my my new project called The Heartland. Um, shout out to the boys. Love Tyler. Love BK. Um, and yeah, we get a chance to reconnect on this thing. I don't think I would have been able to do a, this type of project without, <laughs> without hooking up with them again. I don't, I don't, I don't think they would have let me live it down first and foremost, but, um, yeah, we, we like family, man. So I really enjoy working with them. I think our chemistry shows through the music and through, you know, what we're able to, um, come up with in the studio and the project is, I call it country influenced. I don't call it a country project, but it's kind of like um, my appreciation and my thanks to the whole country world for allowing Nelly to be involved, whether it was the artists showing me so much love, the radio stations um, bumping Nelly, uh, just the whole community as a whole. And um, this is what this project is. It's, it's something totally different. It's a, definitely a, a infusion. And it's, you know, Nelly giving thanks for allowing him to be musically free. We're we're gonna. Uh, uh, there's so much more I want to ask him. Like oh, I want to ask him this, and I want to ask him that. <laughs> so I have an idea. I have a proposal. Okay. Check your phone. If you got your phone around, you check your phone. See what you're doing next uh, Thursday, because oh, Thursday, Thursday we if you if you're not doing anything next Thursday, I can get iHeartMedia to fly you in to Ooh. the Twin Cities. I can get them to fly you in. We'll take you out on Lake Minnetonka. It's beautiful out there. Hang out on the morning show for a couple of hours. Uh, Fallon will buy you. Fallon will buy you breakfast. There's a deli downstairs. Fallon will take you down to the deli. We'll take. So you come by. I get iHeart to fly you in. Come hang out on the show for a couple of hours. What is open? I got next Wednesday and Thursday open. What do you got? Okay, that sounds good. I'm being serious. No, Thursday sounds good. Thursday sounds good. I don't. I don't know if I'm over talking. I. I don't hear my publicist or nobody telling me I'm wrong. So Thursday might be good. <laughs> check, 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 check your phone because you know what? I yeah. know you, you didn't get to come in for Star Party because of COVID, but I know you've been here before. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I met you at Star Party like a few years ago. But seriously, we'd love to have you in. We can yeah, bring man. fans Let's in. Do it. Let's we'll send do it. Fallon downstairs, have her go get you a breakfast sandwich downstairs. What is your breakfast? <laughs> what's your breakfast order, Nellie? I want to write this. What's your breakfast order? Breakfast order, uh, probably some. Turkey, bacon, uh, egg on a croissant, something like that. I know. Can we do that? It's pretty good. We can do that. (laughs) Yeah, they (laughs) can figure it out. You're a good sport. Seriously, check with your people. I got you, man. If you can come in on Thursday, we'd love to have you. Yeah, man. I'm there. I'm there. We can make it happen. What are you doing the rest of the day, Nelly? What do you got going on? Uh, A little bit of this and that, man. Just talking to a few people. Just talking to a few people, man. That's all. Well, don't, don't but I, I I hope you can make it. We'd love to have you Thursday. Yeah, Thanks I'm for there, bro. The All right, we're gonna count on you then. Nelly is here. There, Write babe. it down, Jenny. Nelly is here. I'm there. <laughs> All right. Write it down. Hey, Nelly, have a great day, man. We'll talk to you. We'll Thank see you, you on Thursday. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it, bro. Take it easy. For sure.